What's going on everyone? Before we jump into this video, I want to give everyone a heads up that if you are in the market for any barber tools, there will be links down in the description from every tool I personally use. Now, I do recommend these, but a lot of times barber tools are preference. So it's all up to you, individual. I would look into them, but if you guys do buy from the link below, it is an affiliate link, which means I get a small kickback. Now, it doesn't cost you anything. It costs Amazon 3%. So I would much appreciate it, and uh, it definitely helps the channel. It helps me continue to make these videos. So that being said, if you are new to this channel, Total Barber, we love anything barbering, and I encourage you to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and go check out our other videos. I bet you'll like them, especially if you love barbering like we do. So let's jump into the video. What's going on everyone? Back with another haircut tutorial and in this video we're gonna be doing a mid kind of a drop but basically a concord mid comb over hard part fit yes it's a lot but we will get through it together now if you are new to my channel I encourage you to check out my other videos as well as subscribe if you like any of this content and give it a thumbs up please I ask that you place any comments down below if you have anything to say or any techniques you want to share so let's jump into it as we uh, start always start with your bald line I like to start right above the ear it just gives me a good um, starting point for the other side so I know both sides are even so you uh, set in your bald line go all the way around the head and we'll hit the next step Alright, so after you've cleaned up around the bald line, you want to go ahead and grab, this is the one and a half open, I'm just basically taking off bulk here. Now I will fade up, but I like to take the majority of the hair down just so I can see what I'm doing. So that's what I'm doing here, we'll clean it all off and then we'll start again with the next step. Now this haircut's pretty short and simple. so. Pretty easy steps, so if you can get these steps down, these cuts will go pretty quick. Alright, so we have our half guard here, and we're just going to set our next guideline in, which with the half guard, most of the time you want to go up about a half inch to a quarter of an inch. Um, and then what I like to do, and this is just my preference, is after I set one side of the guy line in, I'll actually go back and knock this line out. It's just a lot easier for me. Um, I particularly think this guy line is the most difficult. So the faster I can get it done, the better. So as that being said, go ahead and go all the way around the head and set this guy line. Alright, the next guideline you want to set in is your one guard open. Now make sure your lever's open for this guideline. Um, here I'm just touching up the beard. I was on this side of the head so I might as well hit it. But you want to go basically right under where you left off with your one and a half guard. Now again, what I do with this guard, since I didn't use my half wall guard, I will actually close the lever after I set my guideline in with the one and a half and I'll go back and just soften that line up because we will use our half guard and flick that line out that's basically the last step to the fade I just think it's easy you're skipping guards and it saves you time Now 
this is the half guard. Now this is where the fade comes together. We're going to just flip that bottom line out. Now you might have to play with the lever a little bit here, but it should come out fairly easy. Um, this is probably one of my favorite parts because it really brings everything together. So go ahead and finish it up with the half guard, knock that line out, use your corners, that's huge, and go all the way around the head. So what I normally do when I get to this point as well is I will go ahead and just detail each side of the head that I'm on. So here I'm knocking the half guard out. Now I'll pop the guard off and I'll use no guard open with the corners and just flick out all the lines and detail each side of the head and I'll work my way all the way around the head. All right, now that we basically finished the fade, all we have is the weight around his crown. We're gonna saturate the hair and get ready to shear cut the top. Now, one of my favorite things with haircuts is to use shear over comb, and that's how I'll actually take away most of that bulk around the crown is shear over comb. Now, I highly recommend that you, as a barber, really practice your shear work um i just think it just takes you to the next level and i don't think a lot of barbers do that they just want to fade 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 with clippers with clippers with clippers and their shear work lacks so if you can get to a point where you are good with both i'm telling you you will go to the next level Now even right here, you see I'm kind of using my clippers just to get rid of some of the bulk. Now um, I highly re recommend that you detail the heck out of your haircuts. It will make your clients feel like they are getting their money's worth. So make sure that you're going in and you're detailing and you're, you're spending the time they paid for on their haircut. Now if you finished early, don't just kick them out of the chair go back check your haircut look in the mirror make sure there's no lines and really detail All right, now we're gonna start on the beard. Um, this basically, I'm just gonna blend in the side of the beard, take some weight off the side. He's trying to grow it out, so my biggest pet peeve with beards is around their jawbone um, and their cheeks that they just let it poof out. So I take some of that weight down and you get most of your length by the chin. 
so um, I think especially with this client he kind of has a round face so if we can take away that bulk around the jawbone and the cheek and just allow him to grow length at the chin it will really make this beard look good Now you always want to use some razor work, especially around the beard. Don't skip on this. It really, really sets you apart. Um, so the biggest thing, I like to razor the lineup dry. Now I know a lot of barbers, they don't like this. And I totally agree. That's why before I do it, I ask my client if they are very sensitive. And if they are, I will totally use lather or some kind of shaving gel um, now I just think it gives you a crispier look because when you're razoring dry once you hit the bulk of the beard your razor just stops um, it just gives you a sharper line and you can get that same look with gel um, I just I just like the dry All right, that's basically the cut. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, like I said in the beginning of the video, all of the tools I use will be linked in my description. Yes, it is an affiliate link. It doesn't cost you anything if you purchase from this link. It costs Amazon 3%. So I would be very appreciative if you would purchase from the link. It just helps me to continue on making these videos. Again, I appreciate all the support. If you're new to this channel, sub consider subscribing and have a good day and we'll see you in the next video.